And uh, uh, by the way, I did bring a really cool toy. Uh, this is something that we've been teasing for a while. This started yeah. as a Kickstarter. They had some trouble getting it past the finish line. What Kickstarter does I know, I know. But right. I remember when you first heard about this, you were so excited. So excited and actually still very excited. I've had a couple of glitches. They've had some software errors, mm -hmm. but the hardware is pretty rock solid. I'm talking, of course, about this. <laughs> this little burrito the, uh, the thing? Overhead. The little burrito looking thing. This is the screens. Now, I paid 400 bucks for this. Uh, you can get them for $300, but I kind of, I wanted a couple of extra features. Right. Um, and quite simply, this is like the poor man's TriCaster. Yeah, so what you have in the back here is is a bunch of different <laughs> HDMI oh, cables yes. coming out of it. So if you look, uh, right now what I've done is I've hooked up both of the Blackmagic cameras, both through HDMI, because this has four HDMI inputs. Nice. Uh, I've got one HDMI going out that's going to the, the switcher so we can show it onto the stream. Mm -hmm. And then I've also got the ability to hook up Ethernet and USB. I don't need so it because... you could do it over the network? Right. I am I am going over the network, but this one actually has Wi-Fi built in. Wow. I probably wouldn't do that if I was if it had it in my studio because yeah. I'm right there. I might as well have it plugged in. But right. if you're like traveling with this and Wi-Fi is all you got, it will work. You don't need anything else. Very cool. Okay. So that's how... It's a, I mean, if you know how to plug in an HDMI cable, you know how to do this. Yeah. But with this, we get that. So right now, this is taking all four of my inputs. So I've got the three cameras plus the laptop that's controlling it, and I'm, I'm able to output. Now, we, we have all the little control lines turned on because we thought it looked Well, yeah, cool. it looks more nerdy that It way. does look nerdy. But here's the cool thing. So this screen up in the, the upper the top here, nice. this is actually, this allows me to change <laughs> the positioning in real time. What? So I'm using it on a touch laptop, which means I can move around my images whenever I need to, put them wherever I need to, to go, and switching is as simple as doing this. So I can wow. switch between inputs just by touching on the screen which input I want to use. That is so cool. I mean, I mean and look at that. that it actually looks really good. It's not one of these where you click and then it's, it's immediate. That is like the TriCaster right This there. is the TriCaster. This Ugh. is exactly what, when I was thinking about getting a TriCaster, I saw this and what made me excited was like, wait a minute, for $400 the cost, I can get something that will do more than a mini TriCaster? Yeah, that is neat. It's very neat. Now, if that's all it did, that would be pretty cool. Uh, because what I, what I could do is I could say hook this up to a streaming box and then output to Twitch or output to YouTube Live. Yeah. Uh, as, it, as it is, the way that this is going to be used in my studio is this HDMI output is going to go into uh, that little uh, black magic screen that I showed you. So it's going to be recording on that. Right. So that will be my recording device. But here's the cool part. If I go back to, uh, go, actually go back to HDMI 2. So I'm going to switch over to just this. Um, oh, oh, sorry. I hmm. want uh, that one. To, to, to just this, I get a couple of options. Not only does this allow me to control which input is being switched through, but if I go to advanced tools, you'll see a bunch of things pop up. And, and Alex, if you could uh, get a little zoom in going on that. Uh, so uh, let's, let's show you some of the modes that I really, really like. First, there's the chroma key. So if I chroma key, it allows me to do things like, uh, you know, on Twitch what? where you'll see someone put a picture of themselves on top of the stream? Yeah. This will do that. So you can you can say okay I want uh, this this layer should be this uh, opaque right. this layer should be this big I can I can tile them on top of each other I can also take a background image so I could like put my logo on the back rather yeah. than the screen's logo every time I'm switching um, it does X-ray mode so I can have like different windows that are semi-transparent on yeah. top of other windows uh, and of course screen stacking screen stacking allows me to set which inputs automatically get priority. So if like okay. one window's on top of another window, it automatically shows up on top. Okay. That's all cool. That's yeah, that's fun. That's awesome. But what Let's see one more tab. This broadcast. <laughs> now the cool thing about broadcast is these are all built in. I do not need another computer to do this. It streams directly from the box. Padre, I want one. I know. So I can go to <laughs> Beam, I can go to Twitch, I can go to Ustream, to YouTube. I'm, I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to show off my credentials. Right, right. So uh, you just have to sign in with your account and then it'll push done, it out. Done, done. Right. So oh. like for, for, for YouTube Live, all you would do is you would sign into your YouTube account. Mm -hmm. You would uh, click Live and then it would say, okay, well, you need to copy this key into your device. Yeah. Once that key and your username and password are in, it goes. It's, that it's is one cool. touch. It's literally one touch broadcast. You push it and it's going to your channel. I'm surprised you haven't taken this apart yet. I mean, how long have you had it now? Not, probably not very long. Or have you I taken actually, it apart? I did take it apart. Yeah, I did. I, I'm curious to know what's in there. Uh, you wouldn't notice anything because it's all custom. 
Oh yeah. This is this is the reason why I thought it was such a great idea because I've seen boxes like this that will use off-the-shelf components, mm -hmm. um, you know, general-purpose CPUs, and they work good enough. But they're typically running a Linux distro that's been cut down so yeah. it will work on limited hardware. You get a little bit of lag. Uh, I did not see anything uh, any of that with this. They use custom ASICs that were designed for video processing. So, like for example, if you go back, Alex, when I when I do this, when I go to my layouts and I move these around, like if I had been using a different solution, what I'd be seeing right now is all the video would be seizing. Right. But and this is this is designed. This process is just fine. I mean, it's that is so cool. It is it is such a good solution. The, the only thing I would like is huh. if they change this. Uh, if they were to change this panel, this one right here, mm -hmm. so that I could control it directly from one screen. So if if they allowed me to just like touch this, touch this, touch this, touch this, and right. switch to it. Yeah. Right now I have to hit the up the uh, the layout button. And so, then select. And then select. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's just a little niggle for me. Yeah. Because that's how I would like to use it. You can get more layouts as they come out, and people will be making their own layouts. Oh, oh one other thing that I, I kind of like, I can do this. So if I create a new window, I can create a web browser and say drop it right there. So actually, let's replace that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. There we go. And switch to it. Oh, wait, switch to... Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, wait, I, hold on. Huh? Wait, uh -oh. what, what did I do? Uh-oh. -uh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that is so, can we just do the whole show like this, though, with the four different camera shots? <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? It won't let me uh, add this unless I delete something, so... <gasps> going to delete uh, me. Which one do I want to get rid of? And so what I could do is I added a browser window. Now, this is not a browser on my computer. This is a browser inside the screens box. What? Right. So if I didn't want to waste an input, let's say I want four cameras, right? I can still have one PC, like the the TriCaster PC that we use, to 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 show things because this this is actually running inside of the screens box. I, I can Ooh. I can hook up a mouse and a a keyboard, and it, unfortunately I don't have a keyboard, so I can't type anything. Right. In. But what is it? What OS is it running? It's running Linux. Oh, it is. So it's, it's running. This, this is Chrome on top of Linux, and I can actually upgrade. Actually, it's telling me I should upgrade the browser. <laughs> uh, but I mean, again, that is so cool. This this is designed for streamers. If you're yes. a content producer, this will do what you what you needed a five thousand dollar box to do just six months ago. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a must have. A yeah. must have little device now. Now we, like, we got to go through the cons because there are a couple of cons here. Uh, okay. The biggest one is. It's still kind of a device in process, in progress. They, yeah. they were a bunch of delays on this, mostly because uh, the software wasn't quite ready. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I'll get these red lines across the, str the screen. It, they've diminished now that they upgraded the firmware. I had it happen once, mm -hmm. but that might have been the devices I was connecting to it. So, And it's not happening right now, but I, know yeah. I wouldn't want that to happen in the, in the middle of a broadcast. Right. Uh, the other thing is, and you notice this, it has an issue with heat. Yeah, <laughs> well, you can tell it's like new plastic or something because it sort of has that toxic smell yeah. right at the moment. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to want to impede the airflow of this. In fact, in the custom housing that I've been developing for it, I'm adding a secondary fan because I don't like my hardware getting that hot. This this not does healthy. this does chug out a, quite a bit of heat. Just, well, for just everything that. that it's doing, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I know. You can I hear like a little fan inside of it, but... Hold on, wait, where's your camera? Because your camera does look the best. By the way, folks, let's do a side-by-side -side here because uh, this is my camera. So my camera, this is on the cinema. And I know I got my settings wrong because I'm at 54K, but let's look at Brian's camera. Uh, no, that's not Brian's camera, it's that one. Oh, now, hi. that's why I chose the 4K camera when I made my purchase. This, this yeah, just nice. looks better. This and, just really does look better. And look it's not even like a crazy fancy lens you have on it or anything. No, it's either. a plastic lens. Yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> if I was building myself a studio, this is what I would choose. Because again, three to $400 box plus a $1,300 camera, I'm only at maybe $1,700. Add the screen, my little black magic screen. Yeah. That gives me not just a way to monitor what's going on, but it also gives me a local recording. Yeah. So now for what? For $2,600, again, still under $3,000, yeah. I have a studio that has at least one high-definition camera that I can hook up multiple cameras to, like right. cheaper cameras, switch my it. laptop, switch it, and stream all without any additional hardware. I mean, this takes the place of the TriCaster. It takes the place of our switcher. It takes the place of our encoder. Yeah. Uh, wow. And our encoder was, hey, Alex, how, how expensive is our encoder? Uh, 20 grand. 
grand. 20 grand. 20 you know, grand. So yeah. this is, you know, a little less. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like this. Man, now the hard part is just making content. Just make the content. Uh, now, we're not done, though. Right, so this this was sort of a tease. We're going to be using this screens unit. Unfortunately, we do have to send back the Blackmagic cameras uh, until mine arrives. And you liked it so much you actually bought it. I actually bought it. That and and cool. I mean, I can only buy a camera maybe once every, like, five years, six I years. I think you'll be set probably for the next five set years with that yeah, one, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I am going to steal one of Leo's <laughs> Don't well, for I mean, if you want to review it for real, right, you know, right. and then put it on screensavers or something. I do want to see what the ten thousand dollar lens looks like, though. Probably look he pretty sweet. He I mean, he came around with a little box. He's like, Padre. I'm like, <laughs> and then he like closed it. He's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, what a tease. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I want to see what really really good glass looks like on a four K camera. I'd like to also, and maybe like a stabilizer too. Get yeah. some sweet panning shots. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are salivating over this. Oh, and by the way, the screens was not made originally for, for this kind of content. I mean, they kind of went in that direction once people started saying, hey, you know what, I'd like to stream from the box. Yeah. It was designed for people who wanted something in their entertainment system so you could hook up all right. like your, your TV tuner and your game box, and you could actually do this. You could do like multiple setups where you've got Windows and Windows. Yeah, I feel like we did an interview with the guy who created this. That's what he made it for. Right. And, and then he, he started hearing... Oh yeah, I guess I could I could put streaming functionality into it. Oh, right, 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 exactly. Yeah. Uh, now I know there's going to be some of you who are like, oh, where do I get one of these? Yeah. A problem? Are they limited supply? Yeah. If you go to that link, so uh, their their website is screens.com. S K R E E N S. I think is that it. Um, it was a Kickstarter, and right. they're still delivering their Kickstarter units. Okay. So as soon as they finish delivering those, they'll probably go into full production. But right now, wow. the only way for you to get one of these is to like uh, my what I because I wanted a second one. Yeah. Um, get onto the forums and find someone who has received one, and if oh, they and don't then want it, just shoot buy it off them. It. Yeah. Well, uh, so when this Kickstarter first came about, how long did it take from them to get to? Took a while. Yeah. Uh, it was over a year, over a year and some. It, actually, they were so they were six months, well, no, eight months overdue. At least they came they out with did, something. Yes, and uh, that's the thing. They came out with something, and it is spectacular. Yeah, it works. It, it, it does it's as, exactly as, as what advertised. they said it was going to do. Yeah. Uh, the uh, lead often, drone. Yeah, often either the Kickstarter doesn't come through, or yeah. it comes in, you're like, well, at least it didn't like disappear. Right. Now, this is good. Yeah. This is good. And we're going to be using this on screensavers in a bit. I want to hook up a couple of different cameras, because right now we've got two Blackmagic cameras. So this one and this one are Blackmagic. That's my Panasonic AG HMC 150. <laughs> So I've got, uh, and they've actually got different frame rates right now. So, I mean, this what? is one of these things where you don't do this on switchers. If you start no. sending a switcher differing frame rates, it freaks out. Yeah. Uh, this one is sending, uh, this one is sending uh, 30 frames per second. This one's doing 60 frames per second. And that one's actually doing, I think, um, like some weird In, 24 frames per second. And all 1080? All 1080. All 1080. All 1080. But I could, I could throw 720 in there for, for giggles. Yeah. And then the laptop is doing uh, 60i. Yeah. So, and it's, it's dealing with <laughs> all of that in real time. And it can move all of it in real time. I, I, I mean, so I'm, cool. I know I'm gushing right now, but really they delivered. You're, you're geeking out, but for good reason. Oh, yeah, for, for really good reason. Well, so now we'll just hook this up and then Alex doesn't have to switch anymore, right? You can, right? Switch you can just here. do it. <laughs> just touch, 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 touch.